questions. Uh, pretty popular all the time. So, the coach, with the seedings now all figured out, you're going to be a third seed regardless of Sunday. What does Sunday become about for you and the team? Is it an opportunity to rest players, or is it a chance to fine tune some things and, and become your best team possible? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I think come Sunday, it could be a combination of both. Um, you know, I think to start the game, we're going to prepare, you know, for it like it's a meaningful game. Um, you know, I think every chance you get to, you know, build habits, uh, I think you need to take it. Because we haven't had as many games with our full roster and our full complement of players, you know, I think it's important for us to also have another opportunity to play a game with our full roster, what our starting lineup will normally be, you know, who comes in the game when, etc. Um, and then kind of go from there. I mean, you know, I do, we have to be smart, of course, with uh, not putting anyone in jeopardy, but um, it still means something. You know, depending on what happens, we could play Minnesota again next week. Um, so I think it's important to still try and set a standard of how we want to play on a nightly basis. Uh, Patty, uh Asian B Media um, coach, scoring over 100 points, holding them to under 70 points. Um, was this one of maybe your most complete game that you guys have put together this season? Uh, it's possible. You know, I think, you know, for us to kind of sustain the defensive intensity and effort for four quarters, um, it's, that's been a challenge for us. Uh, and so it was, it was good to see tonight that, uh, you know, we were able to, even when Seattle made a push a couple times in the first half, we were able to respond and then, you know, in the second half, um, you know, we didn't start the third quarter with the level of intensity and focus that we needed. Um, and we took a timeout, talked about some things, and, you know, I thought the team responded from there. And, you know, for our young players, you know, Sydney, Alexis, uh, Maria, Kalani, Marina, you know, every minute is so valuable for them to get professional experience and be in the situation they're going to be in. Um, more than one of those players is going to be needed for us to advance. And so games like tonight are really good in terms of that complete game that you mentioned and, uh, you know, everybody being able to contribute. Eric, what's, what's to say about this team sort of this season that you guys, like, after everything you've been through from having that seven players and all that you've been through, just being able to walk into the um, Yeah, I mean, I, I think it just says a lot about, you know, our players and our group and, and how they've, um, you know, found a way to stay connected to each other despite, you know, being – really disconnected at times in terms of, you know, injuries and players not traveling when we had heavy road schedule in the first half of the year. Um, and then, you know, kind of going into the break and coming out of the break requiring a suspension, um, you know, and, and, and players just trying to, to work their way back and Candace getting healthy, et cetera. So, um, you know, I think for Kalani and Marina and Alexis and Sydney, like, you know, we wouldn't be in this position without those players. You know, as much credit as, as Candice and Chelsea and Neca and our, our veteran players receive, uh, our young players have really been remarkable for us this year. They, um, when we didn't have other options, um, they were able to, to, you know, compete well enough against, um, against good players and give us a chance to win almost every night. Um, and so that, I think that's what makes me most proud is that, um, you know, everybody's, you know, contributed to where we are now. And, uh, everybody's going to have to contribute if we want to continue to reach some of our goals. Um, Coach, you know, you mentioned Sydney. You know, she gave a pretty solid uh, energy when she came off the bench tonight. Um, you know, and her roles kind of changed throughout the year. You know, she started out not playing so much, was a starter. Now she's coming off the bench. You know, just what have you seen out of her development in particular throughout the course of this season? Uh, consistency. And that's the first word that comes to mind. I think for Sydney personally and professionally, uh, she's the same. Uh, positive. She cares about doing everything the right way. She comes in early. She stays late. Uh, and a lot of that started for her in, excuse me, because I always think of the off season as in the summer. But in the fall, winter, whenever the off season is like, <laughs> um, she, to me, once she got back from, from overseas um, and she got back to Arizona, you know, she took herself through a really heavy training regimen and she came into training camp in great shape. So to me, for me at least, that gave me some confidence that she was going to be able to help us from, from day one. And we just had to kind of figure out, um, you know, some other players. Uh, so she deserves a lot of credit for uh, the level of consistency that she's shown from the beginning. Um, you know, 
she and I talked mm-hmm. before the season just about finding a way to get her back in touch with the Oregon State City, you know, the confidence, the swagger, um, the belief that she can play against anybody and do it with a flair and some style to it. Um, and, and I think she's been able to do so. Most nights, man, you know, Sydney could be 0 for 4, 1 for 6, 5 for 6. I'm not a big, like, plus minus guy in terms of, like, that being a singular stat to look at. But just like tonight, who's the highest in plus minus? Sydney Weiss. <laughs> so I, I don't, you know, know what it is other than I think whoever she's on the floor with, um, she just fits. They respect her. They like playing with her. They know that she's selfless and she gives herself up for the team. And those are the type of players that, um, you know, I love to have a chance to work with.